Hi Libra, welcome. So Libra, this is going to be your spiritual tarot reading and we're gonna go ahead and get straight into it. I already have a card out, but before I read the card, um, the energy I was kind of feeling when I was meditating and preparing for this reading was a very emotional type of vibe. Um, you might be uh, really feeling this last full moon that came through last week, uh, also the retrograde and Mercury. Um, which tends to bring our more emotional self out, our more illogical self as well. So be careful with that, Libra. Um, that was I was getting the word petty. Um, <laughs> so be careful with the pettiness, or you might be dealing with someone who's being petty um, to try and see that situation or that person from your higher self or to see yourself through your higher self, that, that more loving part of you. Because this also talks about spirituality and and love okay so all of that seems to be highlighted right now for you libra and then the first card that you got out there while i was talking at the intro is scorpio eighth house energy um, you could have scorpio in your chart or be dealing with one and or it's just the influencing vibes right scorpio season also is uh upon us right after your birthday season so mid-october to Late November might be a significant time frame for you as well, Libra. So this energy is talking about big changes, transformations, um, going through transformations yourself, but also witnessing that in other people. It can be a very intense energy, uh, but it's also very, it's a very deep emotional type of vibe, right? Um, so let's see what else we have coming in for you, Libra, and go from there. You have the Eight of Swords. So there might feel like there's a lot of tension or there's a lot of stress buildup, um, especially around the things that are most important to you, right? Sometimes this card can talk about dipping into your shadow, being, um, you know, going to negative thinking, um, seeing the problem instead of the solution. So be really careful with that, Libra. That could be coming from your energy or you could be dealing with someone who's like that. But there does seem to be some sort of restriction around uh, a situation here that seems to me is going through some sort of changes or transformations. Some of you have been like fearing change, okay? Because I also get this message about like, not that you're pushing away something, but that maybe you're uncertain, right? Of like some changes that are up ahead for you and being a little bit resistant towards that. And Spirit is saying to be a little bit more open-minded, that things can change for the better, to not fear the worst, not to go into worst case scenarios, as this will not, this will not help you, okay, Libra? It will hinder you by going into those self-limiting types of thoughts and beliefs, and it certainly will also mentally exhaust you, so be careful about that. All right, so let's go into the headspace Libra and see what's going on in the current energies and then we're going to look at the emotional space and the spiritual picture so current energy for Libra it's weird because y'all know I have a Libra moon and a Libra rising <laughs> and I have had like this weird brain fog all day it's like ugh, I don't even know how to describe it um I don't know why because I felt like I got some pretty good sleep, although I will tell you my sleep schedule has been really messed up since the full moon. Um, just like really vivid dreams or just waking up for no reason in the middle of the night, things of that nature. But um, you might also be feeling a little bit foggy, okay, with the retrograde here. And as I say that, I have the Nine of Swords out. It's the Nine of Swords. So Libra, wow, there's uh, multi layers of information coming out. There might be lots of layers to what you have going on in your life right now. And to try and sort it out, to try and figure it out would, would, would be almost too much. And so it, they're saying it's not even on you to figure everything out. It's, it's just on you to find a way to best you can find a piece of joy in your everyday environment and the solution will find you, Libra. Um, 
There's like kind of this painful energy showing up too. And I don't know if this is coming from you or someone you're connecting with, but um, we'll go a little bit deeper and see. But here I feel like you are trying to be generous and to give a helping hand. Some of you might be in this spot in your life right now or in this mental space where you're wanting to give back, where you're wanting to be helpful, where you're trying to lend a hand when you can or give good advice or be that emotional support for someone. I feel like there's genuine good intentions here coming from you, Libra, and or coming from the people that surround you. And they're highlighting um, your friends group or those that are closest to you. So those could be the people that you're trying to give that help to or that is trying to give that help to you. Um, but I also feel like there's this there's this other message or this other energy going on where you just feel lost at times or hopeless or maybe you're going through something that's very deep and personal to you but like a true Libra not really talking about it or not wanting to face that detaching from that somewhat or attempting to detach from that it's almost like, I, I feel like some of you are putting your pain to the side to be of support to someone else, which is a very Libra thing to do because you're the mediator of the Zodiac, right? It's almost like you're trying to give yourself, but you're not giving to yourself. You know, you're giving from an empty cup, so to speak, right? Because if you don't take the time to love yourself and to... Um, give yourself grace then then you don't have much to give other people right um, and then you end up completely depleted and sometimes resentful because of that so so just be very aware of that energy libra that it's okay to make space and time for yourself and it's also okay to lean on others for support if you need it because some of you are trying very hard to like keep something together or keep it together or heal yourself without opening up necessarily This reminds me of the Taurus reading that I just did <laughs> where there was a message about somebody bottling something up. If you're connecting with Taurus or have that in your chart, check that reading out. You know, I know a lot of Libras and I have one Libra in particular that's very, very close to me. She knows who she is, but she does have a tendency to say that she's fine when she's not fine. And I also have a tendency to do that as a Libra moon. Uh, so I kind of feel like that's what's happening here. It's like, and maybe you are fine. I'm not saying that you're uh, like a disaster or whatever. But I'm just saying like there's that message here about like, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. But you're not good. You know, <laughs> but you got your own things going on, right? But you just don't want to bother anybody with it or like, if that isn't your energy, somebody could be uh, behaving that way towards you. So let's go deeper then, Libra. Let's see. The Fool. Let's the emotional space. King of Pentacles. The World. The Seven of Swords. This is so similar to the reading I just did for Taurus. Maybe maybe check that reading out regardless. Even if you don't have Taurus in your chart, it may resonate with you. Anyways, so um, the Fool, the King of Pentacles, the World, and the Seven of Swords. Why the Seven of Swords? Mm, yep, that's what I thought. All right, the King of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles. So... There is this message here, Libra, about kind of going out of your comfort zone a little bit, okay? Or feeling forced out of your comfort zone, okay? Um, but or maybe you're contemplating, right, some sort of big change or something that would make you, that's a little risky, 
it's almost like there's this back and forth going on of like do I try that? That seems a bit risky. Or do I stay where I'm safe? Where where I know, you know, that I'm secure. Or that I'm, where I'm comfortable. It's almost like some of y'all are almost a little too comfortable, Libra. I know, no such thing, right? But yeah, there is such thing. <laughs> where, you know, like we all think that we want to live these comfortable, normal, boring, predictable lives. And yet when we reach that point, some people never reach that point, but when we reach that point in our lives, it's almost like, well, now what? You know, ask any person that has really looked forward to retirement only to get to retirement to find that they get bored. You know, like um, I work in uh, healthcare, you would be shocked to know that a high, high percentage of people who are retired or don't work or elderly are depressed. So we think that we're in this hurry, right? To, to get to the end or to get comfortable or to be able to be lazy and don't work and stuff. And then we get there and then we're like, yeah, now what? You know, <laughs> or it's not fulfilling or it's not, it doesn't, it lacks purpose. Well, it's not that you lack purpose, right, by being comfortable. It's that, it's that it's coming to the understanding that you're a co-creator and you came to create. Like, we think we want comfort, but what we really want is joy. What we really want is love. What we really want is a sense of purpose, right? And so don't get it confused, Libra. There's a difference between your comfort zone, okay? and being comfortable with who you are. Is this making sense to you? And, and I'm not saying like any of you are retiring. Some of you may actually resonate with that example, but that was just my example, right? Um, some of you could be, at, at, have been in a house or a job or a relationship for an extended period of time. And all you wanted to do was to get settled, learn what you needed to learn, and then, you know, master something, okay? And then you master it, and then you realize that that's not the end, that, 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 that you, you're inspired to something new out of that. And that's always how life is. That's always how life is. No matter how long you're on this earth, you're always going to feel this inspiration or this pull towards your next step. Because that inspiration, that desire, that drive is what calls life through you. That's how you manifest more life, by looking forward to more experiences, by having desire, by having inspiration. And when that inspiration dies, it's like a little piece of your soul dies. You know, well, your soul can't die, but you know what I mean. It's like cutting yourself off from life when you stop wanting for things, when you stop looking forward to things, when you stop being hopeful. You essentially... Cut yourself off from feeling good. I don't know why I'm going into this, but this is part of the reading. <laughs> so, because I would not be inspired to talk about this unless somebody that's watching is either dealing with this or you're dealing with someone who is in that energy, right? Who Who is in your energy, maybe. So there is some sort of new chapter that wants to come in. All that to say, there's something new that does want to come in for you. And it may be after, it may be like you get comfortable, you're feeling good about where you're at, and then another change comes in or something new comes in, right? And yet <clears throat> on an emotional level, there seems to be a little bit of uncertainty as to what to expect. Um, but I also feel like Libra, you are doing a good job of keeping yourself in this calm, peaceful state and kind of plugging away at what you do have control over, or at least that's what you're being encouraged to do is don't overthink it. Stay calm. Pay attention to what you can control. Let go of what you cannot control. Um, you know, and I feel like the healing will come and find you or the change or the solution is coming through, but you have to be open also, um, to this change right? Because there's a lot of resistance here around the unknown. Uh, 
If you hear screaming in the background, it's fine. It's my child. <laughs> He's playing video games. <laughs> He's good. <laughs> All right, so let's go into the big spiritual picture. The High Priestess, the Two of Wands, Three of Pentacles. Yeah, I also feel like a lot of tension or a blockage in the third eye, okay? Um, how do you get blockages in the third eye? By letting your thoughts control you as opposed to you controlling your thoughts. By lending too much focus to worrisome or fearful thinking. Um, by not giving yourself downtime to get in tune with your emotions. So Libra, if you've been doing any of that, this is a call to action to prioritize your mental well-being. And then you can give and you can be of service and you can connect and you can support and you have all the capabilities to do that. But first you must give that love and support to yourself and then get into alignment and then, right? Whether that's 10, 15 minutes of a, taking a breather or doing something kind for yourself or meditating or whatever you need to do, you know, take a nap. I don't know. Have a snack. <laughs> it doesn't have to be anything huge, but get into alignment first and then offer that support, that that shoulder, that whatever it is that you're wanting to give. Because I do feel like this giving nature around Libra, but also don't give more than you have, you know. So you have the high priestess here, the two of wands, the three of pentacles, the two of pentacles. This is, again, like, again, getting into alignment, getting into this flow of listening to your intuition, and then the solutions coming in. Some of you are, per sorry, no, my gosh, oh, my gosh, oh, my gosh, <laughs> I didn't mean to say that. Okay, some of you are um, getting in the way of your own intuition, but I feel like once you do... Uh, have some downtime, okay, then you'll be able to kind of tune in a little bit and, and hear the answers, hear the solutions, hear the insights that you've been looking for. And this is actually going to help you to make a decision about your future, Libra, that is um, going to work well for you, okay? So I do feel like there is a, like a solution coming through that is going to work out for you. So things are going to work out. Some of you, that's all you want to hear. You know, all this blah, 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 just to tell you, like, this is going to work out. Like, it's going to work out, okay? Um, it's not even an if. It's not even a maybe. It's a when, like, period. <laughs> um, there's something that's going to work out here. And maybe you need that reassurance, right? Um because maybe you're always the one that provides others reassurance and maybe you needed to hear that yourself. It really is going to be all right, Libra. All right. So, two of pentacles. Yeah, there's a little back and forth still. A little bit of up in the air energy here. But you are manifesting some sort of solution, okay? Um, ooh, and it's the ace of pentacles. So, there is a tangible, realistic practical solution coming in for you Libra during this time frame that's going to help you to feel more secure more grounded even though you're also being inspired towards your next chapter or whatever this next change is for you so I do feel that coming through as well um there's something on an emotional level that I feel still needs to be healed Libra um that may be tugging at your heartstrings or you could be connecting with someone who still has some like emotional baggage or things that they need to heal. Um, but I feel like right now it's not like there's not this message about like going within and doing like these deep spiritual healing. It's more so like take it one day at a time. Take it one day at a time. That's all you can do. Find something that you like about each day. The restrictions will lift, right? You're being inspired to a new chapter of your life. This is all right. This is okay. This is all right. You have reassurance energy here. 
And I feel like if you were drawn to this reading, some of you, the only reason you were drawn to the reading is to get that sense of reassurance that this really is going to pan out and it's going to work out. And there is a practical, practical solution that you're manifesting right now. Not by doing anything, but the, I should say that's being manifested for you, okay? So let's see what the guidance is here for you, Libra. Oops, the guidance, Libra. You know, and all that fog that I felt earlier in the reading is lifted. <laughs> I have lifted myself. <laughs> Uh, upliftment. Maybe that's all you need. All right, so am I going to get a guidance card? Hello. Let's see. Guidance for my Libras. Never want to force a card to come out. Oh, there we go. Okay, it says memories. Your memories are like diamonds in the treasure chest of your spirit. More and more memories may be arising within you. Remember the happy moments with your loved ones. Neither time nor distance will ever stop that energy of love. So we are in a retrograde right now, which tends to bring up nostalgia, the past, returning to the past, people from the past returning, and memories. So this is a time to honor the good memories and respectfully choose to detach yourself from those memories that no longer serve you, Libra. And this too shall pass. So, I hope that resonated with you. Um, zodiac signs that maybe you may be dealing with or connecting with during this time frame or having your own birth chart. I've got Scorpio twice. Um, Aries, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Those are the primary signs that I'm seeing, but keep in mind it's a general reading, so it could be dealing with any sign. Um, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If it did resonate, please do let me know in the comments down below. Also, don't forget to give me a like, share, and subscribe if you haven't yet. You can find me on Facebook and Instagram for more fun stuff as I do have uh, videos and content over there, Tarot Time with Dana, all of it linked in the description box below, as well as in the about section of my YouTube, where you can find the donation link. If you'd like to donate to the channel, you can do so there. Otherwise, I'm wishing you the very, very best, Libra, and until next time, my friends. Namaste.